right, guys, we'll see how this goes. This is uh, Brandon with uh, Therapeutic Fragrance. Um, you'll see in the title just a quick channel update, so no heavy editing for me. Just, just want to talk, put this up. You guys that have joined me from the beginning, thank you. This, this is for you, uh, video. Um, I know this ain't going to get found in the searches and, and all this stuff. Um, kind of want to update you where I'm going. Well, you've seen so many uh, samples for me, and well, to, to, let, to let you know, don't get used to it. Um, and I kind of explain in my videos what I'm doing, but I know you guys don't have time to, to search every one of them. So, you guys have been part of the channel. This updates for you. I thank you for joining me on the journey. I love talking to you guys on IG and um, comments here and uh just you know around the web uh kind of thing um couple ideas that i'm gonna have for the channel coming up to stay tuned for are um i'm really think oh i have a really super good idea about a giveaway thing i'm gonna do um i can't collect there's a lot of stuff that i'm sampling that i i just i don't want to hold on to forever so um, once I'm through learning about the ingredients, kind of want to share uh, what I'm doing, share what I have with you guys, especially, you know, you guys have been with me from the beginning. Um, even, yeah, even though, and I know the subs are low, they'll grow. I'm not even worried about that. I, I know they'll grow. Um, my watch time is incredibly high compared to the amount of subs I have. So I know I, I have a loyal following. So just want to give back to you guys uh in a way um, um for that and i definitely don't need everything i'm doing i have a creative thing coming up for that um <laughs> it's a house people are really really familiar with um ton of samples i have so i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna hammer through them on the channel here um kind of in the style i do there's no way I'm going to have a need for all of them. So I'm going to do a fun thing where it even makes it fair. So like, hey, he's just going to keep his, his, his ones he loves. I'm, I'm going to make it fair where it's interactive. Um, if, I, if I love one of them, I guarantee I'll get that one. But um, you guys, if I love two, I'll be in trouble. Because you guys will have a shot to pick the second one the way I'm thinking of. So um, yeah, stay tuned for that. Hint at the uh, giveaway. It is a TARS. So um, another reason I'm doing it, I know a lot of you guys know about these guys, but haven't, the samples are a little bit hard to get to and um, haven't uh, done the full sampler. So um, it'll be kind of fun giving back to, to what I'm doing. It all makes sense as soon as it comes. And a lot of you guys in the know, I know there's a couple of you already know who I'm talking about. Um, and we'll probably drop it in the comments, but that's okay. I, I don't care. I'll let you guys guess. Um, but uh, I want a chance to get through them and be in the next couple weeks for sure. All right. Second one, I have, I, you guys have seen me going through samples and getting to know uh, different notes and fragrances. Um, there's no way, like my, my collection with the bottles I do buy, um, the samples, there's no way I'm going to, um, I come to a realization, oh yeah, my head, it's like I might use them, but there's, I'm not. So I want to come up with uh, a secondary way to like randomly just pick three samples. I won't even choose which ones. I, I have a shoe box full of the ones after I reviewed, put them into, just grab three without looking kind of thing, put them in an envelope and figure out a way to give that away to uh, people um, that way. So stay tuned for that. That'll probably be within a month or whatnot, which leads me into my next point. The channel won't always be like this. I am um, really um, cruising. I told you very first video, I'll get the hang of this and get going. I had a list of notes of, of things I wanted to get through and dive and, and turn back, dive into um, I have a purpose on this and, and my purpose is I told you in the beginning of the video is creating my product and, and whatnot, but I'm really trying to get an education on compositions out there on notes out there. And that's why the heavy sampling I'm doing, um, 
yeah, again, I have no need for those samples. I'm going to give those away. Uh, once I maybe another eight weeks of this pace, um, I'm not even hitting my personal collection. I try to once a week because that's my passion. That's actually the video I like making because that's, I mean, I bought the bottle. Um, there's passion behind it. You, you see me when I do a salt and leather attar or whatnot. That, that, that's real. Uh, that's stuff. That, that's the stuff I wear. Um, that's the stuff I want to be showing uh, you guys, my collection and, and the bottles I buy. So we'll eventually get through this storm of samples that I have. I have a couple more notes that uh, I need to do. And who knows, throughout periodically throughout the year they might pop up. But we'll get to a pace where um, I'm going to be trying to do, I'll do an oud or a sandalwood a week and then um, something from my collection a week and then either an update or like a third a tar or another perfume but to where we're probably three videos a week no more one to three we'll, we'll get to that's a pace that I can start to handle after we get through this um, yeah you guys watching all the time again thanks uh, I just letting you know what I'm doing here. It's not, not trying to rush anything. I, I'm educating myself uh, by making these videos. I mean, it really because I have to revisit the perfume three times, and it's that's the detail I need. It's giving me the discipline I need, and um, I me presenting to you guys. I know I have to get it right. So yeah, it's it's helping me become an expert in this area fast. So uh, that's where we're at with the channel. Um, and, and why I'm doing what I'm doing. I love you guys that, that have been with me from the beginning. Um, yeah, I have a plan. Oh, and then the, the scoring system. That, that, I mean, I love that thing. Uh, I, I mean, it's, it's getting there. I think I've covered every area in a perfume that you'd want to cover in, 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 in there. Um, I have Hey everyone, hopefully this video makes sense. Uh, battery died on me and um, here we are doing another one. Um, anyways, um, I think I left off the scoring system. Hope this transition is good. Yeah, I moved into a 100 point scoring system and um, t t I mean the, the, the out of five just did not make sense, I'm sure. I'm explaining this in other videos and whatnot as, as I've gone along. I think I have the system down, covered all bases. I like it. There's a method to the madness. It, it's uh, I've never seen it uh, in um, this industry. I'm not trying to be change everything. It's just I'm trying to be fair to the perfumes. To me, um, the, the perfumes, again, this come up because of Oud Luwak, and even when I got into it years ago, I'd see four out of five, five out of five. What is that? It's so low of score to really a 90 versus a, a 100. There's just a big break there. And in the market, we are getting so convoluted with so much quality. It's a good thing, and we love it. That's why we're doing the reviews. That's why this community is growing. That's why it's going crazy. It's because of that. But there's a lot of perfumes that are really, really, really good. And um, some of them aren't getting noticed because they're getting a three out of five or maybe even a 2.5 out of five. And in the reviewer's mind, it is justified um, a bit on that scale. <clears throat> um, but if, if you take that out of 100, they're literally, you know, getting a 25% or, or a, you know, 30%. And I, I, don't, I don't think any person Fume will be in a market if it was at that level. <clears throat> um, wouldn't even make it to market. So I'm like, that, that's not fair. Um, I So far, I've had one perfume I've scored under 60. I said I wouldn't, but um, I'm, again, I'm making these commitments to go through certain perfumes or ingredients. So I'm, I'm going to just stick to them and review them. I'm, I'm not going to bump up the score because I said that. So it is, I've only had one perfume that I just... And I still gave it above 50. It's still got a place. And I'm sure it's still got a following. It's, it's been out for five years. And um, anyways, 
getting to the point of the hundred. Uh, Ooh, Luwak, three point five out of five. I gave it. I just can give it a four compared to so many others that got a four. Um, but it is a great perfume, uh, and I'll, I'll show a rescore. I think my rescore is at like an eighty-seven, eighty-eight, and so that would be almost a four out of five kind of thing, ninety percent uh, a thing. And that's a lot more fair, but the four out of five just, it's too high compared to other things I've given a four out of five. It just didn't make sense. So I got kind of got this bracket down. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll fit in different words and whatnot based on the score. And you guys kind of get what I'm, I'm, I'm getting. Um, the, the premise is if it reaches, if it doesn't reach that 60 mark, I mean, for me, I don't ever want to see it again. Um, it would have to get reformulated, reblended kind of thing. If it does hit the 60 mark, uh, if, if the notes sound even intriguing, because I, I love creative mood out there fragrances. There's just weird days where you just want to put on something that's out there. So it might score that because of those days. And I, you know, I get like, get a sample, uh, a free sample, you know, make it when you request it, when you order a lot of companies let you request it, request those ones, you know, just make sure it's free. That way you're not out any money if you totally are disgusted by it. Um, I, I still haven't tried the uh, top, the orange. Uh, I hope I said that right. Uh, their body fragrance stuff. I know they have a couple. I haven't, I haven't tried those. Um, I don't know how to pay for those, but I, I want to smell them for sure. Um, anyways, that would that'd be that category. Um the next level up is, is buy a sample. A lot of places you get samples for three, four, five dollars. You're not out. Maybe miss your coffee that day. Just kidding. But uh, you're not out much on, on those ones. And then, you know, next level I have is the decant websites. Go to the decant websites, eBay websites, uh, Facebook groups, all that stuff. And then um, uh, next level is, and I'd like to develop you know, friends that do this, I've already got DMs on Oud stuff, but uh, share a bottle with a friend, that'd be the next level. Or or uh, get a bottle and decant it yourself kind of thing, so you're not out, and it, it is a popular enough fragrance where you'd be able to decant that, or get rid of it on an aftermarket kind of thing, that kind of level. And then, um, you know, my next level, this, this is the kind of thinking I'm doing, I'm just talking here, uh, for my collection, the next one is um, I have a market list. If if I find a discount on it, you know, Black Friday, whatnot, if, if it gets a deep enough discount, I'll pick it up on those days and prioritize that list that way. Um, next level is, you know, buy a bottle if, if it's next in your rotation to buy on your budget. And then, um, you know, next level is it's collection worthy kind of thing. Now, that, that's like the 90s and above. There's like three levels in there for me. And, and that's kind of where I'm at because there are a lot of fragrances that are 90 above. I just can't afford them all. And, and this is just me and how I am and, and my thought process. You're different. I want to see where the, the, they're at, your levels and your notes. Anyways, I'm explaining my head to you probably too much. Um, I'll title this correctly. Hopefully you found this correctly. Um, Oud Review is coming. Um, like I said, once a week, I'm going to try to get those are my passions. Check this out, guys. This is Bonus. Just got this in from, uh, I believe it's Israel. They ship from. Boom. Those aren't oils. People who know on Instagram know what these are. So, um, yeah, last year and in my videos, I'm like, oh, I missed out on Russian Nude. And then Russian Nana puts out a list like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Wait till this day. I'm like, and I say blah, 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 because I'm like, oh, I just blind bought four fragrances from you. And it seems like it's only like two weeks later. It's like three months later, but I'm like, I can't do it again. That that stinks. If it's not Russian Nude, I don't want to hear nothing about it. Well, lo and behold, I did check it out and it sold out. I think within an hour it was Russian Nude. So I now have Russian Oud. Check this out. This is like all, uh, if you've ever bought these bottles, they plastic, they put this little uh, plastic like cellophane around them, really tight and everything. So no oil gets out. I mean, through, oh my goodness. I'll put some wearings on this, guys. I already know. I mean, this, this is bomb to the tongue. This stuff is good. 
just this is wow. Anybody want to trade Luwak for Russian Noon? Just kidding. Not really, if you really do. Um, I love Luwak, though. I do. It, it scores high. Like I said, it, it does score high. The ingredients are, are powerhouses. That's the point of doing the system. Thanks for sticking with me. This is for you subscribers. It's probably too long. Um, I'm just giving you thoughts out of my head where I'm at. Um, yeah, love you guys. Thanks for being here. Uh, peace out. Be blessed. Uh, hopefully I get this up today and you guys have a great weekend. Bye.